Fishing is coming to Sunshine Island and it's probably going to be the biggest update we have seen since the launch of the game. So you guys definitely need to get excited because what I'm going to be showing you guys today is pretty awesome. Hey guys, Alden here and we are back with another update sneak peek video and you're definitely going to want to stick around for this one because we have all the information on fishing, we have all the information on the new event that's coming and we have a voucher code at some point in this video. So you'll need to stick around and make sure you're keeping your eyes peeled for that. But let's jump straight into fishing. So you guys can see this is how fishing is going to look in the game. It's pretty easy. Right now, where you're able to fish is going to be limited. It's going to be kind of just to the bottom right hand section of the main haven island. And in this section, basically, you're going to be able to go around in a little boat, you'll be able to control your character, you'll see there's kind of a joystick on that left hand side of the screen, you're able to control this character to move about and try and locate these fish. Now there are currently seven different types of fish in the game, we have cod, haddock, bluefish, flounder, porcupine fish, sardine and anchovies, so they are all in the the game and these will either be common or uncommon rarity as far as I'm aware. Now in order to catch these fish you're going to need something called a lure. Now you'll see we have currently five lures and to use a lure basically you're going to tap on the screen, this is going to throw the lure out on where you tap. You don't want to put it right on top of the fish's head but you want it to be close enough that the fish is going to be attracted to it. Once this fish is attracted to it you'll see it will go over and the lure will start bobbing up and down. Then eventually you will see it will come up on the screen, it's going to prompt you to try and reel in that fish. You're going to have to constantly tap the screen and you're either going to then catch the fish or you're going to lose the fish. Once you have hopefully successfully caught that fish, it will come up on the screen and tell you what you have caught. Once this fish has been caught, that is one of your lures used up. Now these lures will refresh every 30 minutes and you can only have a maximum of 5 at a time. So if you were to use all 5, you would have to wait 30 minutes to get another one, 30 minutes to get another one, so on and so on. Forth. So you've got to be fairly sensible with where you are fishing and how often you are using up these lures. Now currently alongside the lures you also have your cooler which is basically your storage for your fish. Once you have caught your fish you're able to either release them back into the sea or you can put them into your cooler where you're going to then be able to sell them in the future. This cooler only has a capacity of five so you really need to make sure you are keeping or selling the fish that you want the most. And talking about selling, if you want to sell your fish, you're going to have to go to the fish market. Now you'll see where it is located on the screen right here, you're going to go over to this, you're going to click on the fish market and you're going to be able to go in there and sell these fish. Now they will sell for different prices depending on the weight of the fish, the rarity of the fish and of course the type of the fish. And you're going to be able to sell them for a new currency called sea silver. Now sea silver will work fairly similarly to loyalty points or tournament coins. You're going to be able to use these in the shop to buy different items or potentially resources, stuff like that. But you're definitely going to want to try and get some sea silver because it's going to be used for some pretty interesting stuff in the future. Now I'm just going to say right here, the development team has some really major plans when it comes to this fishing feature and we need to remember that this is the first time they have tried something like this in the game and it's definitely really, really unique. So we need to bear with the team as they try and develop this into a fully fledged awesome feature for us because I genuinely think this could be really, really cool. But for right now we have got the probably the most basic concept of the fishing feature in the game. This is kind of a trial run just to make sure everything is running smoothly and hopefully as we progress through the year, potentially into next year as well, we're going to see more updates for the fishing feature, we're going to see more types of fish, we're going to see the area where you can fish expanded, we may also see achievements when it comes to fishing and potentially even some tournaments for fishing as well. So this is definitely something you're going to want to be able to practice 
place and hopefully something you're going to be able to earn quite a lot of sea silver from. So that concludes everything to do with the fishing update. If you guys have any questions about it, you can definitely ask down in the comments below. You can also head over to the Sunshine Island Discord server where you're going to be able to ask the development team directly, which is always a really nice feature. But let's move on to the next thing, which is going to be the Stay Green event. And this is also going to be a really fun event because it's fairly unique again. Now this is going to have multiple different parts to it where you're going to have to do different types of things. Now the first of these is you're going to have to collect a new thing called tree sprouts. This is in order to try and replant as many trees on the islands as possible and you're going to be able to get these like you did in the previous event with roses from planes, ships and the marketplace. So when you complete your tasks and orders you're going to be able to get some tree sprouts sprouts alongside the gold and the materials. Once you have completed this section of the event, you're then going to move on to have to collect some eco licenses. Now you're going to be able to get these by completing some different types of things, mainly involving taking pictures of different types of fauna on the islands. Now while you're taking these pictures, you may also notice that we have had some beavers appearing on the islands and they're appearing in a fairly fun and unique way. You're going to have to track all of these beavers down as part of the event and let me just tell you, it's not going to be as easy as you may think. So. To get you guys ready for this, we did of course just have the Easter egg hunt. Now it's going to be something fairly similar when it comes to the beavers. You're going to have to locate these beavers and I think either click on them or take pictures of them, something like that. But not all of the beavers are going to spawn in at the same time. There is going to be a cooldown period on how quickly you can basically rush through the event. So you cannot just sit down and crush the event all in one go. You're gonna have to come back onto the game throughout the event. And this was a feature that was asked in the Easter egg hunt. People didn't want all the eggs on the islands at once like it was in the previous one. They wanted it to be kind of staggered a little bit more so the event was actually longer. And that's exactly what we're getting with the beavers here. So hopefully this should make it a little bit funner. You're going to have to wait for those next beavers to appear. You don't know where they're going to appear. I will of course make a video on this so hopefully I can help you guys if you do get stuck like that previous Easter egg video. But fingers crossed you guys don't find it too difficult. This event is definitely going to have some pretty nice rewards, one of which is going to be a unique beaver profile picture. So as long as you complete the event, you will be able to get this limited time profile picture. And while we are talking about beavers, I did promise you guys a voucher code and that voucher code was came up by yours truly. So I was I was having a think on different puns, on different themes I could potentially use for beavers. And the voucher code I came up with is be very careful. But it's basically be very careful, if that kind of makes sense. So I'll flash it up on the screen right here so you guys can see exactly how to type this code in. This is going to expire on April the 15th. So make sure you use this limited time voucher code before April 15th. This is going to give you five fine rice, five fine corn and five fine cotton. So you're going to get some pretty fine rewards. But that is all we've got time for. If you guys can't tell, I'm really, really genuinely excited for this update. Probably the most excited I've been for any of the updates and sneak peek videos I have done so far because this is definitely a very major update coming to the game and I can see the fishing feature being just a massive part of the game pushing forward into the future. I can't delve into too much more information about anything right now, but as I said earlier, if you do have any questions about it, I'll do my best to answer them down in the comments. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like on it as well. Subscribe for more updates, sneak peek and fun videos just like this one. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.